Ole Anderson flips out during a shoot interview. Ric Flair brings the belt. W N W A belt. WWF. Oh, I remember that he took the belt with him. That like I said, I didn't follow. Flair wasn't a big Flair, <clears throat> but that was badass. Uh, bringing the belt with you. That was badass. What you talking about? Yeah, Dusty and all. No. Piss on Dusty. Quit being so damn dumb. Got it. This is the infamous interview on. clip where Ole Anderson completely flips out when he's asked about Ric Flair taking the big belt, the NWA slash WCW belt to the WWF, back during the summer of 1991 due to being fired by Jim Hurd, as you see here. And Ole Anderson with Jim Hurd as well. Let's get straight to the interview clip. Pretty explosive with Ole Anderson again going off during this interview. What are your thoughts on when Ric Flair left with the title? To what now? When Ric Flair left the company with the title and went to Vince? Well, see, the problem right now with that is this. Who gave a shit? Who was in the NWA, who was in the NWA at that time? What year are you talking about? This might have been 91, I think. Good. Who was in the NWA at that time? Worker-wise? Promoter-wise. Do you have any idea what you're yeah. talking about? Yeah, yeah, Dusty and all. No. Piss on Dusty. What promoter do right, you know there were in the NWA in 1990? I don't know about, about, about some piss on Dusty. Uh, why don't you uh, 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 get in uh, 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 Dustin and Cody's face and say that and see what happens. This, this dude here. <laughs> he can already tell he's got a, a, a bad attitude. Corner, 1990 or 1989. Who do you know at the, the, the NWA at that time? Ted Turner ruined it. <sighs> Go ahead. Do you think there was a promoter out in Los Angeles? Do you think there was a promoter in San Francisco? Right. Do you think, huh? No, it was one guy. Quit being so damn dumb. Go ahead. Why is this guy picking? Do you think there were any promoters in 1950, or do you think there was just one promoter? No, there was a lot of different territories. Good! Right. So, how many territories were there in 1989 or 1990? There were only two, probably. Major ones, but then there was the little minor ones. There's no such thing as a minor one. Well, you know what I mean. It was, it no, was you don't know what I mean. The, the two national ones. They used to have meetings every damn year out in Las Vegas. NWA meetings. Right. There hasn't been any meetings since 1984, I think. Why? Because there is no NWA anymore. Right. Well, right, then what the hell are you talking about? You could so Ric Flair was a champion of what? I thought there was NWA. They brought it back, didn't they? It just they said they just didn't have TVs on the um, internet. So what the hell is what the hell is going on here? This guy um, uh, picking at the interview, and the man's just doing his damn job. He's this, and this guy here, boy, he's he's a piece of work. Ole Anderson. Nothing. Nothing. Right. Nothing. He couldn't go to Don Owen up in the up in the Oregon because Don Owen wasn't in business anymore. He couldn't go to Roy Shires out in San Francisco because Roy Shires wasn't in business anymore. He couldn't come to Ole Anderson and Jim Barnett in Atlanta because they weren't in business anymore. He couldn't come to the damn uh, what's his name? Uh, name anybody want a name? Name anybody in the whole damn world. He couldn't even go to Vern Gundy because Vern Gundy was out of business. Right. He couldn't go to Eddie Graham because he was out of business. So where was Rick Rick Flair gonna go? Vince, that was it. There was nowhere to go. Right. So what did he walk away with? He walked away with something that nobody gave a shit about anyhow. So who who got hurt? And see he always talks about how I British I don't know about all that, but uh <clears throat> what I remember is cause Flair on the interview said this more than once. He said, um the new manager or promoter wanted him to wear earrings or some stupid shit. And I was like, I don't know about, I don't know about that either. I know about that? When I call him um, uh, Sparkin or Spark, <laughs> what the hell? Call him Sparta? No, about uh, uh, what the hell? Oh, uh, Spartacus, whatever the hell the name is. Know about that? That's Flair. <laughs> like him or not, that's that's Flair. I don't know about oh uh, the, the 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 Spartacus or whatever. Now that now the, now the um. That was funny when they found out he was the uh, the the dark not the dark sting what do you call it the um the black scorpion that was funny we found out it was Flair but uh but but, but, but besides that though this we, this is Flair Ch changing the name the area that ain't gonna work champion was champion or what hmm. Spartacus how did what you wind up uh, moving back into booking when did that happen well you um 
I guess when Sid Vicious was in there, and then uh, Sid went to That's 1980. Yeah. Well, that's because I was working for Turner. Okay. Ted Turner hired us in 1989. Right. That's when Iron hurt his neck. We were going to wrestle with the Snyders. Right. He hurt his neck, and he had, guess who he had booking at that time? Here's a good question for you. Who was doing the booking at that time in 1990? In 90? Well, it was a committee, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. Cornette, Flair, um, there was like five guys on the panel. Sullivan, maybe one of them? Yep. Three and guys. Myself. The other two were, uh, no, no, three. It was just a, so I got them. Cornette, Sullivan, and Rick Flair. Right. They were doing the booking. So you know who's going to get pushed. <laughs> Jim Hurd fired those guys. And who did he hire? This is after the committee? You. Yeah. yeah. What does that mean? Well, well, stop. Just ask yourself a question. Don't be so damn dumb sitting behind right. this camera. Go ahead. What, what was the question? Well, what does it Leave mean? Leave the man alone. Now. He Come on with the, the smart he ass. Fired, flared, and he fired who did it get? The, the manager? Cornette. Cornette. Right. He fired them. And he hired me. So what do you think he was thinking? I was going to quit in the early 90s from working out there. Right. First big time machine. All right. <sighs> this guy, boy. <laughs> quit being so damn dumb. Just, okay, now if he would, now, now if that was uh, a, <laughs> a dreamer or somebody answering the question, I'm about telling them, don't be so damn dumb. Talk, talk about some piss on the... the <laughs> This guy here, boy. But anyway, back, back getting back to Flair. Flair taking the belt in uh, the W. Take the WCW. Know about that? <laughs> taking the WF. That was badass. Coming in with the big belt, and then they, and I remember that because uh, that's when I first saw Flair real good. And uh, they was they was blur they blurred out the belt. I remember that because uh, Heenan had the belt in his hand. It was on primetime wrestling or something like that. Because um. I remember um it used to be um uh Heenan and Gorilla. And then then Vince got in there. Then I that thing they had like this uh what you call the thing, the round table. No, I think that was right before the round table. But yeah, and Flair <clears throat> came in in, in 90, 91, cause yeah, cause he said uh he he had got got the hell out of it. He wasn't about to wear no damn earrings or something like that. Uh, uh Sparta. Sparta whatever the fuck his name is. <laughs> That's stupid. Some of the names they come up with, like uh, that's about it. That's like having uh, what's name is 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 the fake Spider Man? It ain't working. Let him be himself. Now that's oh boy, some of that stuff or a lot of that stuff just don't damn just don't work. 